whenever I get to a cricket ground, uh, when people are betting, uh, you can tell when the bet is broken. The sound itself tells you that there is something wrong with this bet. Uh, but uh, when that happens, uh, it's very difficult for me to go and uh, tell a guy that your bet is broken because uh, you know guys would think that you are trying to uh, make some money with them so I'll just uh, leave them then I know that uh, in a couple of hours they'll call me that uh, there's something wrong with my bet and um, I remember at one occasion when uh, Ryan Bell was betting at his sports club he broke his bet but he just checked the bet and I told the guys that I was uh, sitting with that uh, this bet is gone. Tomorrow or today, before the end of the day, he's going to bring it. And uh, before the end of the day, surely he brought it and uh, the end was gone. And uh, I replaced the end and he was happy. He's really a master at work, you know, in terms of the job that he does with our beds. I first came to know him when when one of my beds had broken, you know, and uh, the guy that I used to go to initially was not around and other guys recommended Lundu and I thought, okay, you know, so I gave it to him and, uh, you know, when it came back, it was looking as good as new, you know, and uh, he's really done a tremendous job with, uh, you know, my bets and with pretty much everyone else around, you know, because he's the only one, as far as we know, you know, who does the kind of work that he does. And, uh, you know, even visiting national teams, you know, have come and uh, they've, you know, asked for somebody to mend their broken bets, you know, and Lundu has been the man to do the job, you know, and I tell you, he is really, he's really good, you know, and um, I've personally, I've personally appreciated what he's done, you know, with, with some of my bets and, you know, you really wonder how he does it. I don't know, he's, he's just, you know, a genius with his hands, you know. Um, at times you give him a you know a bed that's really open, wide cracks, and it comes back as good as new. Cracks disappeared, you know, nice and strong, and you wonder how does he do it? I don't know, but uh, you know we certainly appreciate having him around and you know doing the the work that he does for us. And um, you know there would be a whole lot of beds just lying around if it wasn't for for Lundu. Sometimes they charge at that same time, but. Uh, um, uh, especially looking at this bet, I got it from Tawanda Mpario. I didn't charge him anything yet at that time, but uh, I will charge him after I've just fixed it because I need time to look at it and uh, analyze if there are any broken areas. Then after that, I will just charge him uh, after I've done the job. When you've got one of your favorite bats and they're just broken, when you're in the middle of a game, you know, you've got nowhere to go. There are not many people you know around who can fix up anything for you. You may have another bat, but tell you what, it doesn't feel the same as your favorite bat. And that's the way I got to meet a great man called Lundu, the bat doctor. Um, I met Lundu through that. My bat had broken in the middle of a game versus Ireland, and uh, he was kind enough to take it. And I really didn't think he could do anything with it. But as soon as he took it, uh, overnight he fixed it and he brought it back and tell you what, it felt exactly the same. Uh, there's nowhere else I'd want to take my bat. I've had other guys look at them and try fix them, but I don't think there's anyone around who's better than Lundu. If I'm replacing a Yendo, I need something like uh, a day and a half to do that because uh, a Yendo needs a, a bit of more attention than anything else. So replacing a end, I need something like a day or so. Uh, but some other damages, I'll just take them even half a day, then I'll, I'll be through with it. Uh, looking at this bed, I got it today. The guys are in the middle of a four day match. They want to use it tomorrow. So by the end of the day today, I'll be done with it. Then I will go with it tomorrow they will be using it to be ready. I've got new bats, but I like using my favorite bats. So when they break, I still use those. I send them to Lundu. Lundu does a great job, and then I still use them. If you walk into our chain room right now, especially majority of the guys, they'll probably have new bats that they would have just received from their sponsors, but they carry on using the older bats that are, you know, half broken, but they still want to use those because they're their favorite bats.
So it's just a matter of what you're comfortable in. And for me, if I have a bed that I really like, and if, if it breaks but it's not really that bad, I send them to Lundi and then carry on using them. I normally use a cheese, a hammer, and um, a vice grip, but um, uh, a grinder would be useful to use, but uh, I do, when I don't have a grinder, I will just use those two, the cheese, your armor, and the uh, vice grip. And, um, when, um, let's say, if the vice grip on the back, I will just use a cheese and the armor and a bit of string to tighten it up to just compress it. Then I think those are the main tools that I usually use when I'm doing my job. Yeah, when you are repairing these things, there are some beds um, which are beyond repair. If you are just to look at uh, the bed uh, which you, Mr. Banda used in, maybe it was in 2008, I think, when they were playing against West Indies when he was given a yoker. Um, that bed, there's nothing you can do about it. We can even look at uh, something like this. This was Chinotenda uh, Mtumbo's bed. It was broken on the half, but um, there is nothing we can do about it. But we can just use the endo to put it on another bed. And um, I advise guys uh, that when their beds broke, they just need to come with it first. Then I will check on it if it is still re replaceable. And uh, we can just do it. After Lundu had fixed my first bed, I had another bed back at home in Buloyo, which, which I had also thought had gone. But, you know, I queried it straight away, brought it up to Harare, and tell you what, Lundu worked his magic on that bat. So, anyone out there with a broken bat, there's nothing that Lundu can't fix.